Today I'll be introducing you to a novel fixed bed reactor testing system that we made at ILS. Um, it's novel in the sense that it's a reactor used for doing thermal heat transfer studies. So we have the ability in either one inch up to four inch reactors to test at up to 90 positions what the temperature is. So it's nine zero, it's a lot of thermocouples. So we have a lot of radial mess measurement points and a lot of axial measurement points. Um, you get an idea of how many points there are if you just look at the number of cables coming out of the bottom of this flange here. Um, one of the challenges was coming up with a, a, a way of being able to insert and remove the cables easily. As you see here, we have a, a system here with as a plate where all of the um, uh, connectors are easily inserted and removed. Uh, we're working with type K type thermocouples here. And um, we also have a really nice software solution so that you can actually see these on the screen easily. Um, I'll show you that in a second. In particular for this unit, we had to make some interesting tools so that the client can actually better uh, see where the thermocouples are placed, how the particles fill, etc. Uh, for that, we made some glass mimics of the reactors here. So here you see a one inch reactor, here you see a four inch glass mimic. Um, here you see a sieve, which is used for uh, holding the catalyst bed in place. This can be mounted at any, any axial position. Here you see all of the different uh, radially located thermocouples in the bottom. Then you have a number of other ones extending higher up. These are the uh, multi-point thermocouples used for axial temperature measurements. We also made a number of um, holders which are placed in the top here. Um, these are used for centering the thermocouples when put in. And of course the holes have to be big enough so that you can get the catalyst particles through. Uh, in many cases we're working with fairly large particles which you can typically see here. Um, this is an alumina support. And um, the four inch reactor here gives you a, a lot of flexibility because it's much more representative of what you really have in an industrially sized unit, whereas the one inch is more typical of what you have on a lab scale. So as promised, I'll be giving a, just a short introduction to the software used here. We're using a Siemens process control system uh, with a WinCC operating system. Um, one of the most difficult parts of this unit was coming up with a way to be able to show a lot of temperature curves um, in a way that the user could really understand them. So what we did is we made this interface here, which allows the user, user to activate or deactivate thermocouples. You can choose between multi-point thermocouples and single-point thermocouples. Here you have an actual graphical representation of the various points at which measurements are made. And by simply selecting the thermocouple type and putting in the axial and radial position at which it's uh, located, you can then create export files like this. These can be dumped as CSV files into Excel or whatever. Um, providing a very simple yet powerful way of showing up to 90 different uh, temperature measurements at the same time.